Hi guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. We wanted to provide a follow-up video to the Comfort Fit Belly Band article to kind of provide a little more in-depth information for those of you who may be interested in checking one out. Um, I'll show you the two different belly bands that I have. I'll show you more in-depth the modifications that I've made as well as point out the stitching detail that I talked about modifying uh, or having to re-stitch after some wear. Um, my main point in providing this video is I wanted to make sure everybody understands um, this is a relatively inexpensive holster. It works really well for the female body in my opinion and I don't want to miscommunicate to anybody that it's a high maintenance holster to invest in. I think it's very low maintenance. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of this one here which is the one that I had to stitch over in a couple of places that I'll show you. But all in all for $40, I feel like I've gotten a really awesome product that I'm literally able to wear almost every day with almost any kind of outfit. And it keeps my, um, my firearm right up against my body, ready to use if I need it, and um, provides very little printing or um, visibility to anybody else. So uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, here's a close-up look of the two belly bands that I have. They come in nude and black, and I recently invested in the black one as well. They come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and um, I don't have the circumference measurements right off the top of my head, but you can find that at thewellarmedwoman.com, which is where I purchased these from. Um, so as you can see, this nude colored one, I've probably had this I, I don't know, eight months or so, and I wear it pretty much every day, so it definitely looks a little, a little bit worn. But I wanted to show you the stitch modifications that I have made, as well as how my SIG 228 fits in here, um, so that you can see it firsthand. Now, my gun is clear. There's not a magazine in it or anything. But um, it just easily slides right in. And since my gun is pretty small, it doesn't really hang out the bottom very much. But to give you an idea of if a larger gun would be accommodated by this holster, I have Brian's Glock 19, and um, it has been cleared as well. <coughs> but it will also slide in there, and the elastic will conform to different sizes of guns. Now this holster isn't made for a specific gun, it's just because of the elastic and the way that it's made, it can accommodate a variety of different handguns. Um, the stitching that I pointed out in the article that I had to go over and add some support back into this after wearing it was right here. The stitching had come loose. Um, I have a sewing machine at home, so it was very easy. It just took a few minutes for me to overstitch that and lock it back into place, but it could also be done by hand. This elastic is not so thick that you, you wouldn't be able to restitch that if you needed to by hand. Um, I also restitched this bar right here because this is where I made my, my modification to tighten up the circumference. As I had mentioned in the article, these, the smallest size this comes in is a size small, and I think the beginning circumference is a 28, which worked really well, 28 inches, which worked really well for me right out of the package, but as I kept wearing it month after month, it began to stretch out just a little bit. Not so much that it was unwearable, but I could no longer shift the band up as high as I like to wear it um, above my stomach. And depending on my outfit, I, I scoot it down to be right along my, my waistline, but I tend to wear it a little bit higher than that. That's just what's most comfortable for me. Um, so let me show you this from the inside. <coughs> and you can see where I took up this section of fabric right here. And I did this on both the, um, the black and the nude color band. You can see it a little better on the the black one. I actually did it in a different space on the uh, the black band and that's just because the black band since it's newer the compartment seemed to be a little bit different in spacing so I didn't have the same dead space as I did 
here. But what I, what I did, this is right by the closure, I just folded over the um, elastic where it's in a single layer. There's lots of double layered sections as well. Um, I just folded that over and, and stitched right along there to give me a little more tightness and circumference. Um, on the black band, as well as the nude color band, I also stitched together this opening that was the double layer of elastic, um, stitched the bottom so that I could keep my magazine here. And the reason for that is because, you know, my gun goes in this pocket and I wanted to keep my magazine right next to my pistol in case I, I do ever have to draw it. Um, the way that I wear this band, if I were to put my magazines in the pockets that are designed for extra magazine storage, that would end up being all the way around to my back. And this is how I, I wear the band. So my, my gun is here, my magazine is here, and the extra pockets for magazines are way back here. One last thing I wanted to point out about the Comfort Fit Belly Band, um, if you do use this space here for your extra magazine, you can use the pockets that are already sewn in whenever you buy this, you know, how it's designed to be worn. Um, there's a little bit of Velcro on this pocket. It creates two channels. Uh, plus, you have some space underneath the Velcro from here to here. You can use that to carry your ID, some cash, um, anything like that in case you don't want to carry a purse with you um, or you don't need to. I use this when I go walking. Um, I don't jog, so I haven't tested that out. There probably isn't a whole lot of retention, so I wouldn't advise running with something like this unless you have um, one of those really tight exercise tops over top of it that would really give you added um, structure. But if you're like me and you you know, or just going outside to walk the dog or, you know, whatever, leisurely exercise. Um, I think this is a, a perfect companion holster for that type of activity. Um, it was $40.99, I believe, at thewellarmedwoman.com. I think it's a great investment. Um, I've gotten a lot of wear out of it, and um, it's easy to modify if you need to make it a little bit smaller or add some reinforcement. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments, and thanks for watching.